This video explains how to calculate the sum of squared deviations using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the vector object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data object is appearing which is called x. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing numeric values ranging from 11 to 20. Now if we want to calculate the sum of squared deviations of this data object, we can use the sum and mean functions as you can see in line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called ss underscore one. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that the value 82.5 is returned. And this value is the sum of squared deviations of our input data object x. Alternatively to the sum and mean functions, we can also use the var and length functions, as you can see in line 8 of the code. So if you run this line of code, another data object is appearing, which is called ss underscore 2. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code. And then you can see that this code also has returned the value 82.5. So the same value as in the first example. However, this time we have used the var and length functions instead of the sum and mean functions. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.